I just have one quick question for Usher, if I could just have the floor. Uh, how do you take the best song that you've ever recorded and not put it on an album? What's up everyone, John from ARTV. It's time for a review of the eighth studio album by R&B singer Usher. He worked his way into America's hearts with his album Confessions and obviously the smash single Yeah that still gets played in clubs like crazy. It is an absolute banger of a track and honestly, it was one of my favorite pop songs of the 2000s. But I never really considered myself a huge Usher fan while I appreciated his voice his albums tend to lose me, and honestly, I've never really spent much time at all listening to them. But I had a fair amount of requests to check out his new record, Hard to Love, spelled with the little eyes instead of the letter two or even the word two for whatever reason. Hard to Love makes four years in between records. Looking for myself, had a follow-up planned. Good Kisser, the track that I was referring to in my little intro thing, got scrapped apparently, for whatever reason. Fantastic jam. Just very R&B flavored, very eccentric, had so much personality, and I was like, holy shit, if Usher's gonna get on a track and start doing this, then I am all ears, and critics everywhere seem to love it. Fans as well, but of course, somehow that gets scrapped because maybe it didn't perform well enough or something like that. Maybe it didn't appeal to the demographic that he wanted it to, and he also had a couple of other singles that didn't really make it on albums, and I think of tracks like She Came to Give It To You, and was that track with Juicy J on a record? I don't think so. For whatever reason, he was struggling to find chart success, or maybe what the label wanted for him, and finally, four years later, we get a follow-up. He was releasing some stuff through Tidal. I actually didn't check out any of the songs before this album came out, but listening through it, I have to say that it is an improvement on some of the past stuff that I've heard from him, at least in recent years. Usher's definitely been a victim at the hands of his producers over the past few records, I feel like. He didn't really have a distinct personality. He was just kind of going with the times, whatever was trendy at the time. We were having that kind of single or album from Usher. And they weren't very consistent at all. I remember listening through, looking for myself, and just kind of thinking I would never come back to this. But with Hard to Love, it actually feels more focused. I'm really liking the dedicated production work here. Even though there's a ton of different producers on here, some big names like Metro Boomin, and of course Party Next Door, who has done a lot of work with Drake. He's been a big name out there, got him on a track. So there were some big draws here, and I was really interested to see how it was going to play out. I saw that album cover, and I was like, do I really want to listen to it? But then I was like, is he being like kind of smart here and just saying that someone with that face would be hard to love? I'm not exactly sure. I probably totally missed the representation of this album's cover, and I'm so sorry in advance. I think longtime Usher fans are going to be pretty pleased with this record because he can go from everything from crooning on some of these tracks, especially on moments like Tell Me, which is just heartbreaking. You can really feel the pain that Usher is singing on this track, and it's pretty convincing. Honestly, it's an eight-minute epic. The instrumentation is very classic and reminiscent of R&B of older times, and that's a really cool thing. I love seeing his voice just soaring so smoothly. Just such a silky voice over these falsetto notes sounds fantastic. We see him weaving in everything from that to the more kind of braggadocious tracks like No Limit featuring a guest verse from the hot rapper of the current times, Young Thug, whose verse on here, a little bit asinine, but it's not that bad to be quite honest. And I find myself saying that to a lot of this record. Honestly, it's pretty pleasant ear candy. You're listening through, if you're looking for melodic just beat-driven music, then you're going to be pretty happy and entertained with this. Is there a ton of substance? No, but there are some tracks that I'm going to get to and really want to point out and highlight that get the job done. They go above and beyond. And for Usher, at least in recent years, that's saying something. Let's clear out the elephant in the room first. Some of these tracks just flat out do not work. So we're going to talk about moments that I just really do not connect with or see myself coming back to or flat out can't stand first. And starting towards the end 
end of this record, I see kind of a downward spiral, especially the last two tracks I don't like at all. The title track, Hard to Love, is a little bit of a highlight there, obviously tell me as well. I didn't care for the track Rivals with Future. Honestly, that one just feels very run of the mill, exactly what you would expect for a collaboration between those two. It doesn't have much flair to it. There's a little bit of a bouncing synth there, and it just kind of wavers back and forth. And a lot of this is very synth-driven music, synth-driven R&B, and just kind of has like a banging beat that does kind of mesh the two genres as well. And more often than not, it actually works in Usher's favor. But on tracks like this with Future, Rivals just doesn't work that well for me, especially the lyrical content not stacking up. It just feels a little bit too familiar. And the last two songs on the record, Stronger, which is just kind of a rehash of so many songs that I feel like I've already heard lyrically, especially for Usher, he's not doing anything original here, or even lending his voice to it in an energizing or entertaining way, and the final track, Champions, which I feel like is only included because it was from that motion picture, Hands of Stone. Maybe it already had some streams on Spotify, and that will count towards more units for the album. I feel like Drake did that with Hotline Bling, including that as a bonus track on his album, Views. And I'm seeing more artists doing that just because they want to rank higher on the charts. Is it a cheat? Yes. Should it have been on this record? No. I'm definitely a fan of a good handful of tracks Metro Boomin has produced, but unfortunately with the track Make You a Believer on Usher's album here, yeah, I'm not into this one at all. It's so repetitive. The synth just kind of builds up, spikes in weird places, just seems kind of jumpy and like it's trying to be this cool laid back jam, but it never really punches in any way. Usher seems a little bit too up tempo for the flavor of the instrumental and it never really hits the balance right. And like I was saying with the repetition, it just forces the song's refrain into your head over and over and it gets stuck up there for all the wrong reasons. In fact, I would compare that instrumental to that of No Limit featuring Young Thug, a track that I actually feel pretty positively towards. I really enjoy that track, but it also feels a little bit too familiar to that synth lead. It's stronger on No Limit, but this one almost seemed like a replica with a different producer. So I have to say kudos to No Limit for actually being kind of a braggy track that pulls off Usher going back to an almost more like urban audience. And we haven't seen that from him for a while. I feel like he's really tried to appeal to that pop market, but overall, especially on the first half of this record, he's really kind of appealing to his older audience and I'm interested in that that's for sure the first couple of tracks on here absolutely grab my ears right away need you is absolutely fantastic I love the way that it builds up there's some vocal effects going on there and then just the way Usher carries his voice hits some of these higher notes there's some harmonies that are absolutely on point sound very very tight and mixed with this kind of shuffling electronic leaning instrumental that's very airy and ambient and leads perfectly with a talking kind of outro in intro to Missing You, a track where Usher is kind of starting to describe his perfect girl actually having a conversation with someone, and it plays into one of the catchiest songs on this album. I love the kind of take of new R&B here with Missing You, and I think there's a lot of flavor here that a ton of people are going to gravitate towards, and I could see myself coming back to this for a lot of listens in the future, to be quite honest. In the middle of this record, I'm really finding that with repeated listens, I gravitate towards these songs more and more. Downtime is a nice little downtrodden moment that's kind of ambient once again in a way, kind of has a wub to it with some electronic flair, and I like that about it. He gets a little bit more detailed and just more personal with his lyrical content and even the vocal delivery here. It's just kind of straightforward, like a stream of consciousness, and I appreciate that. And with Crash that comes right after that, I see why it was chosen for a single, especially for rhythmic radio. It's perfect. I love the way that his voice register just gets really high, and he does it in a, not an ear-piercing way, but something that's actually getting stuck inside my head, kind of ear candy. And then later in this record, we see the track FWM. Fuck with me, fuck with me. Obviously, they're changing that to FWM to be a little bit more appropriate. I could see this being a single. I'm not exactly sure how they're going to censor it or if they're just going to maybe totally bleep it out, but I've heard rumors that this will be a single in the future. It's got a very playful synth lead on it, and I think that Usher did a great job with making this kind of a playful and just really enjoyable track all in all. I had a pretty good time with Hard to Love, guys. I did not expect that. I didn't go into this thinking that I was going to enjoy an Usher project this much, and not that I'm head over heels for it, but any means. It's just that there's some really solid songs on here. I don't know how high the replay factor will be, but a good majority of them go down smooth and have me kind of tapping my foot along, even kind of humming the melodies of them. So Usher, 
kudos to you. You definitely stepped up your game here. A lot of production, a lot of different producers, and even though it still felt like a pretty concise listen. It ran a little bit long, could have been toned down from 59 minutes easily. Not exactly sure why it needed to run quite that long, especially when some of these tracks were clearly filler. But other than that, I can't complain too much. I'm giving this album a 3.5. What did you guys think of Usher's Hard to Love? Let me know your thoughts on it in the comments section down below. And while you're here, don't forget to drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel because friends don't let friends go unsubscribed. If you would like to check out another review that you might enjoy or a recent review that I did on this channel, then you can click those annotations. You can find me on my social media, Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff, guys. I know you want to stay up to date on all things ARTV. The links are in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys very soon right here on ARTV.